Frank Ferragini is pulling double duty. Frank, you made a lot of people happy yesterday with those beautiful bright flowers, and now it's all about the cars. It's all about the cars. You know, yesterday we talked about wonderful looking flowers. Today it's wonderful looking vehicles. Dina, you probably don't know, if you were to guess my family, what's the one sports car that all my family loved? One sports Let's car. Let's see if you can guess it. I'm going to say a toss up between um, a Bugatti and a Lambo. You know what? My what? family, uh, my uncle Peter, my uncle Len, my uncle Dave, all owned Corvettes. Oh, no way! Yeah, Cor Hot. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> and I used to steal their Corvettes all the time. Let me tell you that. Okay, I'm Borrow. excited, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody over here. Uh, Borrow. Yeah, that's the best way to say it. <laughs> this is George Suratledge, uh, communications manager from Chevrolet. Yeah, my whole family comes from Corvettes. My one uncle has a 1978 Indianapolis Pace. Uh, they know about it. This is new for Corvette. This is the all new 2014 Corvette Stingray, and the interesting that you mentioned that actually because uh, we we're just talking the other day everyone has a story about a Corvette uh, you know uh, growing up uh, an uncle a brother uh, somebody uh, when they grew up there was a Corvette uh, this Corvette here is all new uh, it's a Stingray we haven't called the Corvette a Stingray uh, in a long time so it's been twice in history and that was in the 50s and the 60s uh, and when we built this car which is all new uh, it uh, it really deserved to put that Stingray moniker on it so uh, we're really proud to introduce the Corvette Stingray again to uh, to the North America and to the world and when you say it's all new you mean it's it's, it's all new. Exactly. There's. Uh, it's actually all more new than the original Corvette in 1953 because that car actually shared parts uh, with other other products in our portfolio. This car uh, really uh, shares nothing with any other car. Uh, it's it's quicker. It's stiffer. It's. Uh, it's more nimble uh, and it's faster. It's the most powerful base Corvette we've ever built. It's 450 horsepower, 450 pounds feet of torque, uh, and it's uh, going to be the most, uh, the best Corvette we ever built. It's the lightest one too, right? It is the lightest as well. So all those things that contribute to making it um, uh, even a greater performance car than it was uh, is, you know, stuff like uh, aluminum frames, uh, technologies on the engine now that uh, we can produce a lot of horsepower, but actually uh, make the engines much more efficient as well. So it's also going to be actually interesting enough the most efficient Corvette we've ever built. So one of the most powerful ones and uh, one of the ones that's best on fuel as well. And it, and it works with new technologies like my smartphone, my iPhone, it, it'll all in integrate with this uh, Corvette. Exactly. I can open the door here if you like yeah. and uh, inside it's uh, not on right now but uh, we do have a uh, what we call a Chevrolet MyLink and you'll be able to sync your smartphone right into the car uh, and what MyLink's going to allow you to do is really control a lot of stuff on your phone so it's uh, you know it's all about taking away the distraction which is the phone in the car you'll be able to leave it in the trunk almost and uh, you can control your apps uh, internet radio uh, we're, a, a new feature we're having really integrate Siri uh, so uh, with your Apple product uh, you'll be able to use the Siri voice commands in the car and uh, check your last uh, email or voicemail uh, and the car will read it to you so uh, these are all uh, you know it's a state-of-the-art car as well and these are all technologies that you're going to see in the future and that's going to trickle not just in, in this car but all of our Chevrolet portfolio in the future will have uh, these great technologies like MyLink. That's awesome. Have you guys worked on pricing yet for the 2014? Not yet. So it launches in the third quarter of this year, so that's in the late summertime, and typically we'll, we'll announce uh, pricing maybe a month or two before that. So. Okay, we look forward to seeing that. Thank you very much, George. That's the all-new Corvette Stingray. You saw it here, right on Breakfast Television.